This uh, local distiller, I think this is so cool, getting into the canning craze, because we're canning craze, because we've been seeing this all over. These are fresh cocktails, perfect for the summer. You just chill these on ice, amazing. So first, let's get the story behind this. Hank is in Kensington. Yeah, hey, Karen, here. and we're at uh, Cadwalder and Jefferson Street, right here <laughs> at the home of the American Liquor Company. And they're canning these cocktails right here and right now. And this is not uh, just the cannery. They were telling me I should get into some of these, uh, the vodka soda and the margarita. Karen, I've been wanting to do this story for a long time because we've been in love. I right, speaking for myself. I've been in love with craft beer for a quarter century now. What about craft cocktails? What about whiskey? What about vodka? And forget tequila, agave made right here in Philadelphia. This is Tone. He's the man behind all of this stuff. Let's crack one of these. Tone, lead the way. What should we start with? Yeah, absolutely. If we're starting this morning, I would say well, let's get a margarita going. I margarita. think our margarita is nice and light. It's really refreshing. That fresh lime juice, like you said, our house agave. We're Twist. making the triple sec as well. That's what I mean, because when you talk about something being canned, I think the assumption by a lot of people is that, that some of the uh, the backup ingredients to be Absolutely. phoned in. You're saying that's not the case at all. Absolutely not. So the agave in there is what we make here in house. Again, the triple sec, we are making fresh for every batch of margarita we make. We're going to make that simple syrup that goes into it. We're bringing in fresh squeezed lime juice. Oh my God, I might be in trouble. <laughs> are you kidding me? This is one of the best things I've put in my mouth in two weeks, and it's eight o'clock in the morning. And look, bottoms up, friends. Let's talk about this vodka soda. Tom, where did you guys get the idea for this? You're clearly meeting a need because of the way we spent the last year. We need cocktails in yeah. the can. Surely the business does, right? Absolutely. So I think this is something we've been thinking about kind of for a few years now. But as you said, this past year, we realized maybe this summer as we're opening up, as we're looking for fun things to do, we need something on the go. We need something we can take with us, whether it's going to our mom's house for a cookout, going to a beach, something to throw in a cooler easy. And this is definitely what we have. Oh, wow. That is crisp and clean. This vodka soda. Karen, guys, you're really going to like this, man. This goes in and out like a spring day. It's, <laughs> it's dry. It's clear as the boys are over here. Chris is just showing you. They're actually doing some of the canning today, so they're real busy here. What kind of nerve does it take to start your own distillery here in Philadelphia? This seems like all good ideas do, like so obvious now that you've done it. Yeah. But... At some point, someone had to think of this and come up with this. This is a, sure. a beautiful thing. How and why are you doing this? And how's that? How's the forecast? Uh, so how and why, I guess, if we're going canned cocktails, like we were saying, trying to get something Sorry. easy. We have some really good whiskeys, but not everybody's a whiskey lover. So we want something that everybody who's coming here can enjoy. It's not just about the whiskey. Um, the how, definitely, we just want to make sure we have that kind of full range of flavors going for people. Um, definitely the demand is big. We got that Jersey Shore really close to us. Delaware is a gorgeous place to spend the summer. And I think people are really looking forward to this for this yep. summer. And guys, I'm going to tuck into some of this orange crust. But Tone makes a really good point. The weather's getting warmer. Uh, these canned cocktails travel with you in one of these igloo coolers. If you're one of the first 25 people to order, you're going to get one of these cool uh, American Liquor Company coolers. Uh, so you might as well. How do we do that, Tone? We get online with it? Yep. So you're going to order right through our Quickly. web shop at newlibertydistillery.com. Uh, and then, like we said, you're going to get a little code. First 25 people to enter the code will get a cooler with their eight-pack purchase. New Liberty Distillery, guys. And that orange crush tastes like orange crust, but it hits like a punch in the head. My <laughs> golly. Bottoms up, boys and girls. You're really going to like this. Back to you. I'll be here. Oh, Lord. Some of these are so good. <laughs> Do I go in for the sparkling <laughs> vodka lemonade? I'm afraid. 8% alcohol. All right, I'm going to try the... Yeah, I'll take the pretty pink container. This is the vodka soda. All right. Vodka lemonade looks the best. It looks so good. It does. Well, maybe I'm saving that one. I can show that one on ice a little bit later. Margarita. Gin and tonic. They're going to be, they're going to do really well with this. My goodness. Okay. Oh, that's nice. It's just nice and smooth. It's light. That's good. Well, this should be an interesting be nine o'clock hour. Okay. <laughs> Make sure you stay with us.